good morning everyone welcome back to my channel it is monday today it's another weekly vlog you know the drill how's it going i just filmed this look for instagram a little instagram tutorial i've got like the fun colorful 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 mascaras on so this look may already be up i'm trying to set myself the goal of one instagram makeup tutorial a week so hopefully you guys will have already seen this on my instagram it was using the ciate smiley face collection that i showed you in last week's vlog once again i'm sorry if i'm talking funny wisdom tooth i'm gonna have to go to the dentist i think like stat pretty soon because i'm in a lot of pain it's not normal what's happening i don't think it's okay <laughs> but i've been putting off going to the dentist because i'm terrified of the dentist but it's giving me genuine jaw lock and it's getting to the point now where it's kind of stopping me from able to from being able to do things because i'm in pain but anyway i've got actually a really busy day fun day today i had the most perfect weekend such a great weekend i went to um obviously you saw a bit so i saw my friends on friday night i also saw my friends on saturday night and then sunday was my sister's birthday well saturday was my sister's birthday but sunday was her celebration um so we went to my dad's house and i edited the vlog on friday so i actually had the whole weekend off which was so good like so nice i think i'm gonna try and start editing the vlog on a friday so that i can have a proper weekend i usually edit on a sunday so that i can edit the footage from saturday and sunday morning into the vlog but i think i'm gonna try and edit the whole week up to friday on a friday and then just do the last bits on a sunday morning to give myself a proper weekend because i think that's why i've been quite run down recently i haven't really had like proper weekends so i'm gonna try and do that in case you cared <laughs> so i'm feeling pretty refreshed pretty sore but refreshed and sore in my legs still <laughs> and i've actually asked monica if she wants to run another 10k with me this week i want to try and run 10k a week and then i'm gonna bump it up to a 10k and maybe then also a 5k a week but obviously doing loads and loads of cardio isn't ideal when you're trying to build muscle but i also want to be able i'm planning on running a half marathon next year so i want to start training for that so i think like a 10k and a 5k a week is like, a, like a good amount anyway <laughs> i think in a minute i'm actually going to do a little homeware haul with you guys in the vlog um i mentioned last week that i went to this vintage shop that i really like and i picked up some homeware bits and i said i was going to put it in this in the vintage haul clothes haul i'm going to do but i think i'm going to do that separate and i think i'll just show you the homeware bits in this vlog so i can also show you me putting them around the house this week this gallery wall is going up because i think i finally have everything for it that's exciting as i've said so many times i've got this gallery wall that doesn't exist yet and i've had it in my brain and i've been meaning to put pictures up on the wall behind my sofa for since i moved since i got the sofas well over a year ago i'm just so indecisive and i never i didn't want to just put things up in it not to be finished i thought rather than doing like another homeware haul and rather than putting it in the vintage clothing haul i just show you in the vlog and then i want to put some of these pieces around the house i want to put some pictures up i just want to get it done though i'm going to show you now okay <laughs> i just picked up a bunch of their dried wildflowers they've got some gold leaf literal gold leaves <laughs> like a pheasant feather got a bit of pampas grass in the back and it again it's just all of my favorite colors i just love yellows and oranges so much like i said i picked up some art and the first thing i just saw it immediately and wanted it so it is this amazing print i love it i saw it as soon as we walked in and i said to tim i want i want that <laughs> Like I want it and he was like look around the rest of the shop first and then come back and I obviously as soon as I saw it I knew I had to have it and I came back. It's all my favourite colour, loud motorbike, it's all my favourite colours, it's these gorgeous oranges and reds with some pink and it's so 70s, so retro. I love the big white frame, I don't really have many white frames in my house and it's such an amazing size and it was £35, such a good price for a print of this size and i was walking around the flat trying to think what i wanted like where i wanted to put it and it literally goes in every room in my house i think orange is such a proper like accent color every single room has an orange element i love orange um 
So I was like, oh my God, this will go in every room, but it's definitely gonna go above my sofa. And I cannot wait to hang it up. I just, I think it's so cool. And then the other piece of art, much smaller, is this one. So I really like this little lovely gold frame and it's a super small print. It's got writing and hearts. And I really just, I don't know, I just really liked it. I really like the red. I don't have a lot of red in my house, but um, I love red. I'd like to bring some more red into my home. And I thought that this was a really nice way of doing that. I just thought it was super cute and it was 20 pounds. Speaking of pulling more red, I picked up this, oh my God, so close. I picked up this gorgeous, gorgeous vase that I thought I could put those dried flowers in. This was 10 pounds and it's got these burnt orange, rust brown shades that you know I love so much and the lovely kind of cream lines, but also, it's got that pop of red. I like to always have like three pops of the same colour per room at least. So I've got a picture over there that has a bit of red on it. That's got a bit of red and this has a bit of red. And I feel like it just helps it look a little bit more cohesive with the rest of the room. So this completes the triad of red. <laughs> and I just love it. I think it's so cool. I really like the shape and I think this was actually on sale. I believe it was down from 25 to 10. And then I actually got another vase because I love vases. I have so many vases and so many jugs. I just, I really love them a lot. And this one was a little bit different for me, but so beautiful, I couldn't pass it up. It's this stunning, like, it's kind of more like an urn, I guess. It's got these little handles. I think it's so beautiful. And I think this might be, hello. <laughs> I think this one might live downstairs either in my office or maybe in the hallway rather than the living room it's just so kind of classic it's very traditional not my usual style but i really liked it when i saw it and this was down from 15 to 10. finally i saw these like tucked away and as soon as i saw them i just grabbed them because they are perfect for me i have been looking for some salt and pepper shakers i needed grinders um, but I also needed just regular shakers for like table sole. And when I saw these, little focus, look at these little wooden lids. And they are this like classic 70s print. These were six pounds for the two. I had to have them. They're, they are amazing. They are probably my favorite thing I've bought in so long. And they're salt and pepper shakers. Thrilled to pieces with those. They just go with everything in my house. <laughs> so yeah, those are the bits that I got and I'm thrilled with them. I think like, that's a really good haul of stuff. Now I think I'm going to plan out my gallery wall and hopefully Tim and I might be able to hang that either today or tomorrow, which would be really exciting. So we can say goodbye to this huge blank wall, which does drive me a little bit insane, I'm not gonna lie. Hope you enjoyed my little in-vlog haul. If you liked this, having like a haul within a vlog, let me know because I'm really trying to cut back on like my clothes shopping, she says as she's about to post a massive clothing haul, but it's like a vintage clothing haul. I'm trying to cut back on my fast fashion basically. Rather than doing like really big hauls, um, if I maybe pick up like one or two things off of ASOS or something like that, do you want me to just show you them in my vlogs? Just let me know. Okay, see ya.
this is where we're at for now. I'm not 100% happy with it yet, but we'll get there. I think it does look good. I think I'm just a bit, um, I don't know, anal about things like this, but it looks all right. Anyway, better than before. Now I need to switch over to my other video because I'm filming what I'm eating. Goodbye. <laughs> Morning guys, you're currently on a tripod um, because I'm filming a different video, but Tim just said rate my setup Hey <laughs> You look like you're in a hospital no, no, bed. Yeah, like I have no limbs <laughs> There they are Yeah, no, you gotta, you gotta be resourceful, you know, when you're, when you're turfed out of your pad Kick to the curb. It's because I'm filming in the office today. That's all right. right, how do I feel about these pictures, you guys? Something's off. Something is off for me. I can't figure it out. Anyway, good morning. It's Tuesday. I'm gonna go back to filming the video now. <laughs> See you in a bit. Hey, feel I'm in a mood for a switch up. I hit the function, hit the rose till I hiccup. I hit the stage and leave with money that's a sticker. She picture perfect, so I told him I'm a flicker. Bill, I'm in a mood for a change up. I leave the city and return with my change up. They got amnesia, don't remember how they played us. They want to knock me down, but somehow I just stayed Look up. Look at the spot. I didn't turn on my... Straight to the stage, they love me. I understand they hungry, but please don't hate, that's ugly. I've been sliding, shaking, moving. I've been popping in my city. Shawty say she love the way we do it, do it with me. I be too turned up to ever give a f. I ain't come to argue, let a n. They been talking pennies, I need bigger bucks. About to catch a flight, I need to switch it up. Got that black boy joy, might do my dance on me. Take no disrespect, might put my hand. Okay, Emma Johnson. Yeah. 24th of Feb, we did. Yes. But at that time, was not a 20.6, which is 100 grams. What the hell? Mm. Get out. And mass of 27.9. Now. Yeah. In the Feb, it was 28.8. Oh, ouch. So slightly lower. And you were weighing 71 kilograms, which is... I'm on 68.7 now. I'm but not sad, though. To be honest, I was... If I was to say what I thought was going to happen, I thought that because I knew that my weight had gone down a bit, or had at least stayed the same, I thought that the muscle would have gone more down. Down. And that the fat had gone up to level it out to make my weight more similar. I didn't think that I'd maintained good, as much yeah. muscle as I had. And I definitely, I did not think I'd lost fat. <laughs> Hell no. No, I'm actually, I'm actually pretty chuffed. I did not expect that. Good morning, everyone. Hello. It's Wednesday. God, I thought it was Thursday. It's Wednesday today. And I woke up this morning having hit 175k. I have 175,000 subscribers and I'm so happy and grateful and um, it kind of just crept up on me. I didn't realise that I was, I mean I thought I might maybe hit it by the end of the week and then I woke up to it so it's only Wednesday so yeah thank you so much to everyone who subscribed. If you're new, welcome. Um, you are always so welcome here. I hope you continue to enjoy my videos. I'm sorry I look like this. <laughs> I'm very tired this morning. Um, as you guys will have seen, last night I went and had my first session with Monica back at the gym. Very sanitary, we wiped everything down. There was no one in there. It was like so, so, so empty. It was actually really nice to have basically the whole gym floor to myself. I just felt so good to be back. Like, I actually could have a little cry about it. Like, I know, like, oh my god, I actually am slightly tearing up. Literally crying over the gym. <laughs> if you haven't watched my fitness journey video, I really think you should go watch it um, if you're new here because I think it will give you some insight into me and my life um, and why I train like I do. The gym is kind of like therapy for me and it is a enormous part of me maintaining and managing my mental health 
and it was a huge part of my recovery from various disorderly thinking. It just keeps me on the straight and narrow basically and it's a vital, vital, vital part of my routine. So even though I trained at home um, during lockdown and I was good, I did train. I definitely, definitely, it's partially the environment, it's getting out of the house, it's seeing people that was like the gym was a massive part of my social life so yeah i definitely could feel the effects of me not going especially over the past like the last month and a half of lockdown i think it's really started to take its toll on me and like my mental health has been the worst it's been since i was at that really really low point and going back to the gym yesterday felt so good and I've got a session this morning. I need to leave in about an hour and I'm really looking forward to it. As you will have seen, I did my body composition. Now, a massive part of my um, issues with body image is trigger warning, by the way. I'm sorry, I should have said that earlier. A huge part of it is body dysmorphia. And so throughout lockdown, I've, I've really been struggling to trust my own brain and trust what I see. Because once you've had those thoughts and once you've kind of not trusted just like you've lied to yourself in the past um you kind of go backwards and forwards between like oh no it's just my brain oh wait but what if it's not and you don't really know until you get given numbers which is why numbers help me some people don't need them i kind of do because otherwise i completely like misjudge it i had my weigh in yesterday and i've lost some muscle as is to be expected i lost about one percent muscle and i've lost a little bit of fat actually over lockdown which was not what i was expecting i genuinely going into that session was expecting to have gained about two percent fat and maybe maintained my muscle or lost a little bit of muscle. I thought I was more on the bulking side, but actually I did a mini cut, <laughs> which I didn't mean to do. So um, I think it's because I was doing quite a lot of hit. Like my workouts were quite cardio based because obviously I didn't have my heavy weights. I think I just cut rather than maintaining muscle, but that's fine. It doesn't really matter to me because it's a long game and I'm going to be doing this for a long time. But um I was just interested so there was the odd exercise like pull-ups where I was like oh god I've not used these muscles in a while I'll get it back I will get it back so yeah I've got a session today and then I'm running another 10k with Monica in the morning <laughs> so we'll see how that goes I've got quite a lot of work to do today and tonight we're actually going out for dinner for the first time since the beginning of lockdown um it's Tim's mum's birthday so we're going to dinner it should be nice it should be nice to get out of the house anyway i've been talking for eight minutes so i'm gonna go but i hope you have a great day and um thank you for 100 oh i hope you have a great day thanks for 175k <laughs> i just filmed a clip and it wasn't recording um i'm going to pt now i'm not going to take my camera though i'm just gonna you know do my thing but also i didn't show you we ended up doing a few changes to the wall and i think it looks so much better. I put the mirror down and that up. And I just love how the colors all tie together. I think it looks so cool. What do we think, fellas? Here is my outfit of the evening. A little Bowie number. You guys know this skirt, I wear it all the time. My little uh, yin yang um, slides. We are going for dinner with Tim's family for his mum's birthday. Oh, my fringe is pissing me off today it's just not sitting right but we're gonna go and eat lots of nice food first time in a long time huh tim far too long tim's been missing restaurants i feel like i'm going to heaven <laughs> just for the evening off we go i'll show you what i eat oh my goodness <laughs> Good morning everyone, it is Thursday morning and I just ran 10k. I actually went further than 10k. I did 10.38 kilometers, which is actually 
the furthest I've ever run. I'm gonna have my protein shake now. I've got a busy, busy day. I've got a lot to get done today. Um, and I'm running on empty right now, so I need to get me, get me some energy and get me some food. Good morning. Let's do another day of life. <laughs> Good evening. Um, it is 6 p.m. I've been working all day. I've had a very productive day, but I need, I'm having a friend around for dinner and I haven't made dinner yet and he's gonna be here in an hour. And I need to make a cheesecake. So let's go and let's go make a cheesecake, I guess. everybody it is friday happy friday it's actually it's such a glorious day today i don't know why i just wanted to sit oh it is such a glorious day today she says as she comes to lie on her bed i'm so sore i'm honestly like my whole body hurts i can definitely tell that I'm back at the gym and I can definitely tell that I wasn't lifting or training as hard over lockdown as I'm used to because I'm feeling it. <laughs> I'm actually really looking forward to getting to the point where a 10k doesn't cause me <laughs> lasting damage <laughs> for the whole week. I'll put you there. Very nice. Last night was really nice. Our friend Ned came over and I cooked dinner. We had Thai green curry and I made um, fake fried chicken with cauliflower. And I made a healthy-ish cheesecake. And I was really happy with the cheesecake. I'm so happy with how it turned out. It probably needed another hour in the fridge to set a bit more, but I was really, really pleased with it. Because I did that five healthy meals video i want to do five healthy snacks next and then i'm going to do five healthy desserts and i think that the cheesecake may just make it into the five healthy desserts. and when i say healthy i mean like healthier like i make changes you know so yeah i'm excited about that and yeah so yesterday was really really nice and today is supposed to be a scorcher so i might try and sit out in the garden today for a bit but um i have to actually edit this vlog today because um tomorrow it's tim's mum's birthday like during the day thing so we're gonna go over to their house tomorrow so i can't edit the vlog tomorrow and then also sunday we're going on a hike and i'm really sad because i wanted to film the hike last week because we were meant to do it last week but it was raining um um, but because it's on a Sunday, we're not going to be able to vlog it. But I'll definitely like film some nice bits for my story on Instagram. So um, if you're not following me on Instagram and you want to see us on our hike, then make sure you follow me there. God, this morning I woke up. What's Tim doing? This morning I woke up to my subscriber count being about... 700 subscribers lower because youtube's done another cull of um like inactive accounts so i just hit 175k on monday i think and then i'm back down to 174 <laughs> i think i might get back up to 175 by the end of this by the end of the vlog hopefully i'll be back up but it's okay it's not about the number we all know it's not about the number but i do work really hard and i do like milestones like 175k mean a lot to me especially as a slow grower it definitely means a lot to me and i really want to hit 200k by the end of the year my goal is to hit 250k but i don't think that's gonna happen but also you've got to dream big don't you so yeah that was a bit of a bummer this morning i won't lie they weren't real followers anyway so it's fine i am gonna go and start editing this vlog actually and I'll chat to you guys in a little bit. Ignore the spot patch, but Tim's making us dinner. We're having chip shop chips for dinner. Homemade chip shop chips. And gin. 
Happy weekend, everyone. I have spin at 8 30 in the morning. Whoa! <laughs> Morning fellas, it's Saturday morning and you know what that means. Time to go to spin. <laughs> Are you excited, Tim? Yes. Yes. Going to spin. Da -da 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 -da. Spin. 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 <laughs> and then we're going to Tim's parents' house, but I need to come home and edit the vlog before. So, uh, long day ahead for Emma. So let's get some coffee in. Woke up with this mammoth spot, which is actually so painful, and it hurts when I smile because it's right on my smile lines. Also, one more update, and I've got 10 seconds of memory. Beauticians aren't allowed to do face to face treatments, so my facial and my, my lip top up have been postponed to like mid August. So that's great. Cheers, Bobo. Cheers. You said you cut my hair like two weeks ago. I will cut your hair. All right, off we go. I'm dressed, showered. I have wet hair. So this fringe is going to be interesting, I think, today. But I need to run because I'm running a little bit late. Um, but here's my outfit. I'm a vision in linen today. Um, so yeah, let's go and celebrate Tim's mum's birthday again. Um, I probably won't vlog. I don't really like filming Tim's family. Oh, this is a mirror, by the way. That's for the bedroom. The bedroom is nearly done, guys. Bedroom reveal coming soon. <laughs> Let's go, come on. Hi guys, it's actually Saturday evening and I thought I would end the vlog. Um, tomorrow I'm going on that lovely hike, but I said I will post that on my Instagram. I might film like a little IGTV um, of, like a, of like a nice little compilation video of the day. So if you'd like to see some kind of artsy footage of that, then that will be up. Um, next week probably but I'm gonna end the weekly vlog here because I need to edit it now because I'm getting up early for the hike so thank you guys so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed it as always I've had a good week I feel good got all my work done feeling accomplished um, nice social weekend feeling good so happy I finally did this wall yeah thanks for watching and I will see you guys on Tuesday Lots of love. Bye.